Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. As you can tell from the title of this video, this video is gonna be a showdown between the five most hyped, most popular highlighters, except one. Basically, I don't own a Becca highlighter, and I didn't wanna purchase one just for the sake of this video. I used to have one, I used to have Moonstone, and it was okay. I had a small version of it because I couldn't justify spending £30 on the large size. So I purchased a small one when I was in Sephora in Italy and it was okay, but it wasn't anything special. Then I accidentally broke it and I just never bothered repurchasing it. So I don't have the back of one. I have something else instead, which you can argue that it doesn't necessarily fit the category of most hyped or most beloved highlighters, but it's one that I own and I do find it really, really good and comparable to the other ones in today's video. As you can tell, I have a really light skin tone and I looked for similar highlighter shades from these different brands trying to find that one shade that I own from all five of them. So we're gonna be working with a quite light highlighter that might not suit everyone's skin tone, but I just wanted to compare the brands themselves, not the actual shades, because obviously we all have different skin tones and different highlighters will work for us. So these are the shades that suit me personally. Like I said, we're gonna be comparing the products, not the actual shades. So I don't have any highlighter on today. We're gonna be using both sides of my face because I don't wanna remove my makeup five times. So we're gonna be using both sides. And once we applied all five of them, then I will tell you which one I think is the best and which one I think is the worst. And although I have filmed videos about most of these products, not all of them, so I will give you some information when we get to each product. The first highlighter we're gonna be talking about today is going to be from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit. I own this Sugar Glow Kit and the Sun Dipped Glow Kit from Anastasia. The reason we are not gonna be swatching anything from the Sun Dipped Glow Kit today is because these shades are quite dark. I would say I can personally maybe use these two as a highlighter, although Moonstone is already a bit on the edge of being too dark for me, but these two, they definitely only work as a shimmery bronzer on my skin. So this is definitely for darker skin tones and these are the darkest highlighters I personally own. But I really, really love the quality of that palette and all four of them are just a really nice highlighter with no glitter. The one we're gonna be talking about today though is the Sugar Glow Kit. As you can see, again, it has four shades inside. Gumdrop and Butterscotch are more shimmery. Stardust, absolutely gorgeous. That's probably my favorite. And then you got Marshmallow. And we're gonna be working with Marshmallow today because I have quite a few highlighters in similar shades. So we are gonna be using Marshmallow in today's video. And I'm also gonna be swatching it on the back of my arm because I want to compare all five of them next to each other and show you how they look like, how similar or different they are. So we're taking Marshmallow today and I'm not gonna be applying it all over the face. I'm just gonna add some on my cheekbone and under my brow bone and that's it. I don't wanna overload my nose and my upper lips with highlighter today. So we are gonna just apply, like I said, on the cheekbone and brow bone. As you can see, it's a very beautiful yellow gold shade, completely invisible when I'm looking straight ahead. 
and blinding when I look to the side. Gorgeous. Overall, one of these palettes will set you back £42, which is quite expensive. But once again, you get four different shades inside, 7.4 grams of product in each, which gives you 29.6 grams of highlighter in total. That's quite a lot of product. And £42, yes, but if you end up using all four shades, then it's a really, really good value for the money. So if you find a glow kit from Anastasia, when you know you're going to be using all shades, then it's really really good deal like i said before something like this for me personally wasn't such a good purchase i can only use the first two shades really however i wanted to have those first two shades especially summer so 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 gorgeous so for me personally it was worth it even if i'm never gonna use these two as you can see they're quite easy to pop out so i could actually just pop them out and give them to a friend or something or you can use them as a eyeshadow they are gorgeous and for me personally it was worth the price it is quite expensive though i'm gonna swatch marshmallow on the back of my arm the thing i really like about this highlighter is that it doesn't really emphasize any texture and it doesn't have any glitter in it it's a really, really flattering highlighter. Obviously, it's gonna depend on the shade you choose. Like I said, for example, in this Sugar Glow Kit palette, you have shades with glitter in them. But I feel like if you're using a brush like this, you are gonna end up flicking off most of that glitter anyway. Especially if you try, if you apply it a bit harder, you are gonna end up flicking off that glitter. So if you don't want to have the glitter, you don't need to have it but I still do prefer the shades that have no glitter in them and Marshmallow is one of those. The next one we're gonna talk about is the NARS Albatross highlighter. Honestly this was the first ever highlighter I've heard of in my life and back then it just sounded like you had to have Albatross because that was the highlighter to have and I filmed a mini series trying out NARS products on my channel quite a long ago now probably about a year ago and in that series I was using a lot of very hyped very famous products from NARS and I was so excited to have these products because I thought it's gonna be a complete life changer I'm not gonna lie I spent probably about three, four hundred pounds on their product. And really the one thing that I was impressed with was their audacious lipsticks. Everything else was all right. Their blush was all right, their bronzer was all right, but nothing was really that good. And definitely not in today's world where the makeup industry is so competitive, you get a cheaper version of everything and for example this highlighter is 29 pounds for 14 grams of product it's half of the product you get from Anastasia and you only get one shade here and it still costs you almost the same so I don't know I feel like NARS is a bit overpriced about five years ago they were everything but then so much happened since we have so many new brands since and yeah i feel like now it's just not that amazing anymore nevertheless this was once a very very hyped highlighter so i definitely had to include it in today's video so we are gonna be using Arbatross on this side of the face. I haven't used Arbatross for a while, but as far as I remember, you should get a very, very similar shade to Marshmallow. Yes, it's probably a bit more ashy. It has less yellow in it. It's more like a silvery white highlighter, whereas this one is more like a golden one. Because of that silvery shine, I feel like Albatross maybe looks a little bit more artificial. I'm gonna go on and swatch it under Marshmallow. Yeah, now that they are next to each other, 
I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can definitely tell on person that this is a lot more of a silvery shade and this one is a lot more of a yellow shade. The next highlighter in today's video is going to be from Benefit. They haven't had that many highlighters in the past. I feel like it was just What's Up, which was a um, highlighter stick which I didn't really like, to be honest with you. I felt like it was removing the foundation and the powder underneath, but they recently came out with two highlighters which are very, very gorgeous. And one of them was Cookie. Now I have Cookie in this palette, which is the Cheek Leaders Bronze Palette, and Cookie is here. However, you can purchase this on its own. This whole palette costs 52 pounds. If you purchase Cookie on its own, it's gonna be 27 pounds and you get the same amount of product you would get in this palette. So if you don't own already a billions of hula, then a palette like this will be a really good value for you. Even if you have hula, for me personally, I love Gold Rush, Cookie and Coralista and I use all three of them quite a lot. The only shade I don't get a lot of use out in this palette is Hula Caramel because it's just too dark for me. But I also own the Pink Squad palette and in that one you have Dallas, which I love a lot more than Hula. So probably that's why I don't really reach for Hula, but otherwise Hula is a quite fine bronzer. It's not as good as they hype it to be, but it's all right. Anyhow, Cookie is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna switch things up a bit and swatch it on my arm first. So that is Cookie. As you can see, it is slightly darker than the others, but God, it's just so gorgeous. Pretty sure, by the way, that last year it was £26, so they recently increased the price to 27 I feel like that's a bit of a push, especially considering that you only get 8 grams of product in it, which basically means that this Benefit highlighter is a lot more expensive than the NARS Arbatross, which I already told you how overpriced that was. But in that one, you get 14 grams of product for £29. Here you've got 8 grams of product for £27. So this one is a lot more expensive per gram. Not to mention that from Anastasia, you get almost... 30 gram of product for 42 pounds. So, so far this is the most expensive out of the three if you calculate it per gram. That's how cookie looks like. Love it. It's silvery, but it's like the right amount of silvery and it's just so stunning. The next highlighter we're gonna talk about was just something that you cannot ignore in any video talking about the most hyped highlighters. You just have to have this because it is really, really popular. And that is the Jeffree Star Skin Frost Highlighter. I don't have any of the Supreme versions. I heard that they are actually not that good and they are more expensive. I have this Skin Frost one in Ice Cold here today. And I also own Sarcophagus, which is another shade that suits my skin tone. He's got a lot of crazy shades like black highlighter and blue and green. I'm not all about that. I love a nice natural highlighter. And obviously Ice Cold is the lightest shade from him. As you can see, again, is this white color. It's very, very similar to the first two shades I was showing you. In these Jeffree Star highlighters, you get 15 grams of product for 26 pounds. So you get slightly more than in the NARS one for slightly cheaper, but it's technically a very, very similar price point. As you can see, the shade is 
absolutely blinding and it's a beautiful silvery shade. If you want a really, really intense highlighter, then definitely get this one. Let me just swatch it on the, the other ones. As you can see, it is lighter, quite pigmented. What I like about the Skin Frost one is that even though it's so blinding, it doesn't really emphasize your pores. It does somewhat emphasize them though, so it's not perfect. And possibly the one thing I don't really like about it is that it leaves this white cast on the face. The NARS Albatross does that as well. I do actually find them quite similar to the Touch. It's really, really beautiful. I do find Cookie more natural though and just more sophisticated but I know a lot of people especially on Instagram will prefer this one because it's so blinding. So as I said before I unfortunately don't have a Becca highlighter for you today even though I know that the Becca Champagne Pop is the all-time most hyped most loved highlighter another highlighter that was really really popular at some point i don't really hear people talking about it that much anymore was the fenty kilowatt highlighter and i don't have any backup or any fenty highlighter to show you i have one though that i've had for a while i use this in a full face first impression when I was testing out Too Faced products and I do personally really love this highlighter but I don't really see many people talking about it and I don't really know why. Some people claim that it's just not really opaque or not really buildable. I don't agree with that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The highlighter I'm talking about is the Too Faced Blinded by the Light. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, about a year ago, I used this in every single video I filmed. This was the highlighter until I purchased my Anastasia Glow Kit and then I was using those and quite recently I've just been using Cookie from Benefit to be honest with you but nevertheless this is really really gorgeous highlighter and this is gonna be the last one in today's video. Like I said this is a bit of a different story because this one is not that hyped at all but I personally love it. I would say that it's the most similar to Albatross. Albatross is a bit more white. This one is a bit more pink. But yeah, you can see that all five of these shades are technically very, very similar. Like I said before, I have a really light skin, so this is the shade that suits me. And because this is the last one and I don't want to have highlighter on just one side of the face, I'm actually going to be using it on both sides. It definitely takes more building up because when you first start applying it, you get um, more natural sheen. But I think there's nothing wrong with that. I actually think that it's great that it lets you decide how much you want your highlighter to shine. I definitely wouldn't say that this highlighter is too subtle at all. I think it is very, very gorgeous and it looks a bit more natural again, which I prefer because I actually want to leave the house wearing this makeup. So I prefer my makeup to look natural but sophisticated. I want my highlighter to just give a natural glow, a natural dewiness to the skin, just make me look more healthy. Yeah, I actually do really love this one. And before we wrap up this video and I start ranking the five highlighters, just 
very quickly. This one is 25 pounds and you get nine grams of product in it. So it is actually quite expensive. It's really only slightly cheaper than the cookie highlighter and you only get slightly more product in it. So it's definitely not best value for the money, but I still love it anyhow. So let's very quickly rank the five highlighters based on how much I love them. Once again, this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Marshmallow from the Sugar Glow Kit. This one is NARS Arbatross. This one is Benefit Cookie. This one is Jeffree Star Ice Cold. And this one is Too Faced Blinded by the Light. I would say that this Despite the price and the amount of product you get, my number one personally is Cookie from Benefit. It's just so creamy, so beautiful. The whole application is like a dream. It just goes on so smooth and I think it looks gorgeous. I find myself reaching for it a lot and even though you don't get a ton of product, I feel like it's gonna last me for a very, very long time because even though you don't get a lot of product, you don't need to use a lot of product. So it's gonna still last me really, really long. My second favorite is probably the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter, simply because I use it so often. It's a really, really versatile shade in my collection. I love that it's a very, very blinding white shade. I love using it in my inner corner, on my brow bone, basically anywhere where I'm looking for a blinding highlighter. So I don't necessarily use it on the face because like I said, it can be a bit too much, but I love using it around the eyes as part of the eye makeup look. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you have probably seen me using it when I'm completing an eye makeup look. Just because it's so beautiful, so opaque, so blinding, I love that highlighter and it's also quite good value for the money. Sticking with good value for the money, it's probably the only reason that the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit finished before the Too Faced one on my list. I do like the Anastasia Summer and Stardust and Marshmallow shades, but like I said, you have more glittery shades and shades that are too dark for me. So overall, I'm not really happy that I have to buy a whole palette where some of the shades won't be the ones that I would personally pick. I would prefer if they would let you pick the shades you want or if they would just sell them individually. Nevertheless, I do love those Anastasia highlighters and I think they look gorgeous on the skin and they are really, really good quality. The next one is the Too Faced one for me. I personally love this shade. Like I said, in the past, I reached for it a lot. You don't get a ton of product, but like I said, I've been using this a lot and I hardly used up any. So it's gonna last me a really, really long time. So when it comes to highlighters, you really don't need to buy the biggest in size available because you get a lot of product and you're not gonna use a ton of product and they're gonna last you a very, very long time. So I actually don't really mind that you only get nine grams of product in this two-phased one. What I do mind is the price point, that 25 pounds is a lot of money. And that is one of the reasons that the Arbatross highlighter finished as last. I still love it. I think it's a beautiful highlighter. I just feel like you can get the same or better for less money. And whilst you do get a lot of product in it, you do have to pay a lot of money for it as well. As an individual shade, that was the most expensive in today's video. Obviously the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette cost more and the Benefit palette cost more, but if you just consider that one shade, it would have 
been the most expensive out of the five so I do not have any issue with that highlighter if I did it wouldn't be in today's video it's still in my top five favorite highlighters it's just that because of the price point and because of that ashiness to it I don't really find myself reaching for it that often it's an all right product, but I feel like it's definitely one of those things that were really overhyped by certain YouTubers. And then everyone else just started buying it and using it because their favorite YouTuber did so. So yeah, that's going to be number five. I know there are a lot of gorgeous highlighters that I missed out in today's video. I didn't have any drugstore highlighters but that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i would love to have you here and until next time take care of yourself i will see you very soon